All right, so hello everybody and welcome back to another Madden 22 Colts franchise. Uh, I've already tried to record this episode one time, and then the uh, the internet went out mid recording. A while I was up like ten points. I want no, it was seven points. Seven points. It was still the first quarter too, and um, my internet went out. So then it disconnected me from the EA servers, which then I had to restart the whole game like three or four times, and so. Uh, so I just decided to restart. Basically, all you missed was um, a couple of good passes from Carson Wentz. Um, good run by Jonathan Taylor. A touchdown by Jack Doyle. Uh, I switched to a 3-4-3 or four, three, uh, cover 3 scheme. Uh, we're using Minnesota's playbook because that fits a 4-3 scheme. Uh, basically, the reasoning behind going with a 4-3 is because I want Quiddy Pay to get playing time. Although, <laughs> funny enough, he got hurt. He also missed that. But uh, I'm not sure what the injury was because it literally went out, like, the next play. So, but I'm going to start out hopefully the same way that I started the last game. Where I'm just going to come out guns blazing. I'm going to sling the rock. There goes Isaiah Rogers up to the 30-yard line. Probably his best return of the year so far, and it was helped out by some good blocks. So preferably, we'll have a decent deep shot in here somewhere. Let's just start out pretty tricky here. Oh, and also Kiki QT is now our slot receiver. That's another thing you missed. Get us a little bit more versatility. Michael Pittman Jr. Oh, just... Uh, Wentz almost got that throw out there. Oh, I should have checked if Kari Willis could come off IR. Doesn't say he's out for the season anymore. Again, I'm just going to come out and just chuck the ball down the field. Jack Doyle over the top. He makes the grab. What a throw as well. I caught myself about to throw a bad pass towards uh, Pittman, so I pump faked instead. But yeah, the, the game plan was, or uh, when we did the weekly strategy, was to come out and throw deep. So that's what we're going to do is look at that catch there by T.Y. Hilton. Also a perfectly placed low pass. Faster hot routes. huh? Not sure how much that's going to help. But again, we're just going to force them to respect the pass. Oh, look at Hines. It's kind of a forced check down right there, but you know. I've won so many games off of just run, 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 run that I thought it was maybe some maybe about time to uh, force some respect for the passing game. I also really want to know how this offensive line is going to perform under a heavy pass offense. Oh, only a yard on the play. I didn't realize that was third down. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go for it. Put Kiki QT in motion, hopefully. Oh, no. I didn't expect him to stop running. Oh. That's not as good as the first drive in the first game. I'm actually just going to use her with Rodgers over the middle. It's deflected by, I believe, Quiddy Pay. JT not looking too happy over there. Now Leonard is coming off of an okay day. And look at that! It's Quiddy Pay off the edge! 
arguably could have been a sack. But uh, we'll just just take or arguably could have been a uh, safety. But we'll take what we can get. Look at Buck pulling him down. So now they're pinned up against their goal line. They're going to have to try to punt against our uh, block here. Oh, Hines is going to still have room to run, though, which is nice. He's going to break a tackle. He's got room to run. Tackled down at the 32-yard line. A good punt return now. I said a couple of episodes ago that I wasn't too thrilled with the idea of having him as a punt returner. But, uh... Seems to be working out. JT is an odd catch, but we'll take it. I was really looking towards the end zone. And the reason we're coming out and trying to throw the ball so much is because their run defense, statistically speaking, is very good. So there goes JT for eight yards. Maybe nine. Kiki UT could possibly be open in that corner of the end zone if that safety drops down. I'm going to force it. <laughs> oh. Ah. I don't know why I forced it, but I did, and I guess it was a good decision. That ball had some stuff on it, though, that's for sure. Also, good catch in traffic there by Kiki QT. I guess that's a uh, little bit of a bailout. The type of bailout the CPU would usually get in that situation. They just throw it up into the end zone. Say, I'll take any help I can get. I hope that this defense can continue performing. Air Franklin now recently got star development. Look at Quiddy Pay. I believe he's probably going to get credit for the tackle for loss there, or at least half. Not for a loss, but just the tackle in general. Oh, Yassine able to bring him down. Looked very confused on that play, but we still got the job done. I'm going to bring Josh Jones down into the box. I was watching Darren Waller to see what he was going to do right there. It was a good decision because he totally would have had us beat, I'm pretty sure. Another good stand there by the defense. You'll love to see that. Here comes another return attempt by Hines. He's going to break another tackle. Breaks another sack. Or breaks another tackle. Dude, Hines is so good right now. He's earned that contract extension he's here he got earlier in the year. Pittman. Oh, just overthrown. Again, I'm just going to continue to air it out. I've got no issue with forcing a couple of passes into coverage. TY down the field one on one. He oh, I thought he caught that. I, th I really thought he had that. Ooh, QT and Pittman on that side. Could totally throw off that safety. I'm going to do it. Pittman down the field. He's got space. Touchdown, Colts. Michael Pittman Jr. beats the ever so old Casey Hayward. And that's just a beautiful ball right there by... Carson Wentz. I mean, look at this. Off his back foot, he puts that thing a mile high. 66.1 yards in air off his back foot for the touchdown. Or no, it's at 76 point or 76 yards right there in air, which I'm not sure how accurate that is. But that's just the kind of stuff that you love to see from Carson. Under pressure, shows off his absolute cannon of an arm. 
Again, he's working on getting a big upgrade. He might not get like a superstar ability or anything, or if he does get a superstar ability, it's either going to be upgrade in overall or upgrade in dev trait. Either way, he's getting an upgrade in the offseason unless he like massively flops. Let's look at that Grover Stewart in on the sack. Our defensive line is just insane. And it's not even the... the I don't think it's the sliders. I would hope it's not just the sliders. But, um... Forcing a throwaway right there. You could argue that that was, you know, intentional grounding. But either way, this offense... this. Defense is just, oh, no, 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 Okay, he just missed an open first down. The running back routes are so hard to determine what they're going to do. Try to shoot through here. I don't know why he stood up. Hyde's going to have some blocks here, I'm pretty sure, as well. No, TJ Carey was just too slow. TJ Carey probably won't be on the team after this year. <laughs> He's kind of flopped in some... Uh, Crucial spots like that. Gotta see if QQT can do what he was brought to the active roster to do. Ah! Literally the same outcome as the first time, or as the last time I ran that with uh, Pascal. Same exact animation and everything. Pittman, out route, seven yards. Now, of course, I am going to try to run the ball enough to at least make them respect the fact that I'm running the ball. But JT going to fight forward for two, which isn't going to be enough. I also forgot to set the tempo to two clock. Here comes the punt from Rigoberto Sanchez. Probably if we were 10 more yards down the field, I would have considered going for that. Tackle there by T.J. Carey. There's also Michael Pittman Jr. now over a thousand yards receiving, might I add. I just realized that. Look at Josh Jones over there, Stonewall. He's definitely some good depth, at the very least. Look at that, Okarake, and on the tackle in the backfield. Now, if you notice, every time we get to third or fourth down, you can see Buckner's X Factor lights up. That's because he's giving everyone on the defensive line an extra pass rush point. And look at that, Darius Leonard off the edge. Again, I don't mind having Leonard come off the edge when he's like coming from his linebacker spot, but I really would prefer he stayed at the linebacker spot and not, you know, blitzing as like a D end. Yeah, there's just nowhere to run there. But Leonard having a good season, has a couple of picks, you know, has a bunch of forced fumbles. Ah, I just know where to run. Pittman opened down the field. Oh, he got cracked, but he still held on to it. What a catch. Uh, EJ Speed. I'll keep him. EJ Speed is a good linebacker. His overall may not show that, but he does make plays, I think. Look at JT picking up nine and a half. Oh, just nine, I guess. Um, I'm going to have Branson be a lead blocker here. Oh, well, he didn't go the way I thought he was, and also almost... Didn't get over there in time for me to snap the ball. I'm going to go with a wham run here. I think that's probably the best bet.
picking up two yards or three yards and the first down. Go ahead and switch the play here. Oh, I thought that was going to be one on one. Ah, it's just a lack of vision. Big shot, though, by Braden Smith. I wouldn't call that a bad throw. I would just say that was a lack of vision. I don't think my read itself was bad. I was trying to throw a 50 50 ball. It was also a good sack there by Alquadine Muhammad. But I wouldn't call it a bad read because what I wanted would have been there had the safety or whoever was in coverage back there not been there. Like I didn't expect them to be. Big shot. I didn't even try to go for a hit stick. I'm not sure what the game thinks I tried to do, but it definitely wasn't a hit stick. But it worked out. Bring Josh Jones down into the box. Ah. Oh, come on. You got to wrap up there. Oh, Oja Odom. No. No. Oh, that was just such a bad job tackling. I guess I should have known better than to let the linebacker cover a wide receiver one on one. Three plays, 74 yards. So here comes the kick return. Ah, I thought we were going to be able to at least get to the 25 there. But, uh... Oh, okay, here we go. Do play action, roll out, deep shot to Pittman. I'll check it down here to Mo. Oh, big hit. I hope I don't get copyright for the music that's in the background. I don't think it would be picked up. But, uh... Why couldn't anyone have just gone up the field sooner? Literally had Pittman gone up the field, had, you know... Anyone. All right, second and ten. Oh, big juke by Hines. Got two guys with that juke. Again, the only reason I'm doing the whole forcing the ball down the field thing. It's just kind of because, well, I want to, I suppose. Uh, it's not like I'm making bad reads or, like, stupid reads under pressure. I'm just, I mean, Grant, I made one bad throw that was just, you know, bad vision more than anything. Not even a bad read. But, like, I, again, I trust Pittman in this situation. Like, it's either pass interference, incomplete, or, an inter or you know, or touchdown. Or, I mean, it's basically 50-50 on, you know, what the outcome of the play ends up being. And that's fine with me. JT. First down and more up to the 25. Jacksonville is beating New England 17-7. Oh, boy. Um, you know what? Let's see if. Pittman can get open down the field here. No. Doyle. Oh, just didn't have the time. The throw would have been there. I feel like this is an automatic touchdown every time, so I'm not going to run that play. However, I feel like I do want to try to throw this to Pittman on the outside. No, he's covered. Wentz rolls out. QT. Yeah, it is QT. He's overthrown. It's a hard throw to make. Um, yeah, I, I like this play. 
JT underneath. It's just a horrible throw by Wins. Here comes Badgley out to attempt the field goal. And the field goal attempt is perfect. Drive really just did not go the way I wanted it to. By the way, I'm recording this at like 11.20. Well, I started the recording at almost exactly 11 p.m. So if I'm quiet, that's why. But, uh, yeah. Deshaun Jackson, what a guy. I don't know how much I trust this coverage, but I'm going to just do it. I'm going to trust it. Darren Waller wide away. It's just unfortunate that he's a tight end and not a receiver. Because uh, we could definitely use the ability to have a corner on him. Dude, Josh Jones seems to just kind of be there on everything. I mean, again, he's at the very least, he's good depth. There's just nothing you can do as a user in that situation. Like, it, whoever thinks that that's fair programming for the computer to run a play like that, like they should add... Well, I don't know what they could add to make it more fair. But, like... It's just what the computer does. That's the worst read that Carr possibly could have made. It's so many open players there. But the whole crisscross stuff on next gen... It, a, a couple of years ago, that was fair, you know? But, you know... Now on next gen, it's just not fair. Big hit by Josh Jones again. But now on next gen, it's just not fair. You know? Because you have to try to, you know, predict pretty much everything that's going to happen. Especially, like, with user linebackers are just insanely slow. I don't know why Quiddy Pay keeps getting hurt against this team, but we're going to keep him in the game. Okay, good tackle by George Odom. I saw that coming from a mile away. I just didn't know who to try to cover and who not to. Good stop there. It basically just stonewalled his dive attempt. Now in last year's Madden, that wouldn't have happened. All right, um... Gonna make sure to cover Josh Jacobs. Oh! That's just a good toe tap right there. Not much I can do about that. Let's block the kick, TJ. Ah, no block. Well, that's fine. Alright, so they'll probably just do a regular kickoff here. Squib kicks don't really do much to help, to tell you the truth. Since they all just go pretty much one direction. So. Isaiah Rogers up to the 24 yard line. Um. I don't think Hail Mary is necessary just yet. We'll see what we can get. I would say if I can pick up 5 to 10 yards on this play. Then I might consider trying to throw a deep shot. That is six yards. So you know what? Sure, I'll throw a deep shot. At least make it somewhat reasonable to try. All right, now I've got some mega protection. Well, or not. Basically everyone came through when I had extra blockers on both sides. You gotta love that. Uh, we're gonna stick with throw it deep. It's, it's 
been working pretty well. We're going to defend over the middle. Since apparently Derek Carr has a 150% completion percentage over the middle. <laughs> apparently. But, uh... You know, let's see what we can do on defense here. And throw it cross body. Josh Jones just not able to break that pass up. I went for the interception. I got greedy. Ah. Uh, It's just unfortunate. Nine and a half yards right there. This is not. Good, good job right there by Isaiah Rogers. Just reached in and poked that out. No issue at all. Bring down Josh Jones into the box and then the user O'Kara K. And I totally whiffed on the tackle because I didn't think he was going to, didn't expect that to be a counter. Well, it's power O, but it basically worked like a counter. It was a good play call, too. Well, that's a good route. I didn't see that coming either. Otherwise, I might have tried to stop it. All right, I don't see them passing out of this formation, believe it or not. And like I said, I didn't see him passing. Their offensive line is just creating holes for him to run through, and then he's just, once he gets ahead of steam, he's just, you know, off to the races. Like, that's just, just no way that should happen. I blew that play up. I was, I had other people blitzing. I just, that just shouldn't happen, you know? Just terrible tackling. Oh, that's an interesting play call, and not the one I expected either. See, now Josh Jacobs is all tired. See what you did to him? Big hit, forced fumble! What a recovery. One hand snag off the ground. See, that right there is why you don't keep forcing the ball to the same player over and over and over and over again, because eventually... They're going to get super tired, and then that'll happen. Patrol the middle of the field here. Wow. They didn't pick up the first down, so that's a start. They're going to take the field goal, surprisingly. I wouldn't do this myself, and I'm not going to trust them to do that. And they did it. I guess it does tie the game, so I suppose I can see why. Marcus Mariota, the holder. What a guy. Here comes the kick return by Isaiah Rogers. Never mind. There's no wind, and yet both kickers seem to be kicking the ball deep into the end zone on that side. And we're going to do the same play we started the game with. Starting both halves with it. Well, both of our offensive possessions, our first offensive possessions with it. Pittman down the field, not able to haul it in. There's just too much cover. That's if that's where if he's got 90 speed or something like that, he probably, you know, has the separation to catch that. I hope he didn't get hurt. I hope he's just tired. <laughs> ah, just no blocks, and now Ryan Kelly is hurt. Not going the way I wanted it to. Okay, Pittman's back in the game. The block Taylor here. Going to throw this down to Doyle. First down. Sometimes you just got to dive for it, man. We're going to key him in. Pectoral strain. Conservative. Read option. Never do a read option unless you're on conservative. But then if you hand it off, then it sucks. So, like... 
I don't know. Went. Gonna pick up about four. There's not giving much open or how many open receivers or open space to run or anything like that. Jack Doyle is going to be open though. Well, the game plan was to air it out, but I'm not sure if that's working the way it was intended to. Imagine he got back up from that. Hankins, what a guy. He's huge. Uh, QT hasn't really provided much in this offense so far. That should have been an easy throw. I don't know who let them through that fast, but that's just pitiful protection. Low QT perfect throw exactly where that had to be. I'm gonna trust the blocks here. I don't think they have the setup necessary to stop this, so hopefully they don't. We've got the edge eight yards, a lot better than any of the other ways that's gone so far. Now we're gonna just run a Different play. It's basically the same thing, but to the Jonathan Taylor this time. Look at the blocks. Big gain. Got a conservative ball carrier here. Ooh. Ooh, if they, uh, that's the Mike linebacker, I suppose. And I've got to read the outside. Oh! How are you supposed to read that? I should have, I guess I just should have known. I don't want to be on aggressive. I want to be on balanced. There we go. I guess I just should have known that there were two reads out there. I'm not going to run against that, right? Like, come on, AA Ron. Nowhere to go with that either. Here we go. Third down and goal. Hi, Mo Alley Cox touchdown. I mean, that's just a perfectly placed pass. Good catch. Good job holding on to it through contact. Extra point is up, and it is good. 14 plays, 75 yards. Over four and a half minutes of possession. Not too shabby. It's over half the quarter. Here we go. Defense is going to come out here and hopefully stop their offense. Good tackle there by Isaiah Rogers. You know, I trust us in man coverage here. I shouldn't, but I do. Big hit, though, by George Odom. Again, I shouldn't have trusted this in man coverage, but I did, and I made that mistake. It's just not the way this defense is supposed to function. We're supposed to be, like, really good, and we're just, like, really bad right now. Good job right there on the run defense. I forced him back to the inside. Tackle made by George Odom on the inside. It's just textbook right there. And sometimes you don't have to make the tackle for it to be a good play. And that was one of those times. I really don't like what they're doing here. They're intentionally screwing up my off or my defense. I 
There's not much you can do when the computer does that double audible. Because well, what it did was it, it switched it up to where my defense was going to be screwed up. And then it switched it again once I tried to fix my defense. Come on, snap the ball. Tackle made by George Odom. I've seen a lot of George Odom on this drive, seems like. There's just, you can't plug the running, the running lanes, it seems like. Like, even when we're there, we're just not there. You know? We, well, we, I guess we don't have a takeaway, do we? I was going to say we do, we do too, because Darius forced the fumble, but that wasn't a takeaway, was it? <laughs> And that is four yards. No, five yards. Now going to be third and four. I could very well see them try to check it down to the running back here. Again, see what it does? It switches everything, and now the coverage is all screwed up. Like, what, what do you do in that situation? Like, what am I expected to do as a user when all of a sudden it switches the formation around? And I'm expected to just, what, fix everything? Granted, that is the way that the play is designed, I suppose. Or they, you know, step out to the outside position. But still, it's just, it, it it's so unfair when man coverage is all screwed up like that. What's even worse is when zone coverage flips for no reason. Isaiah Rogers, room to run, up to the 33. I probably shouldn't have juked to the outside. I probably could have gotten away with juking to the inside. And now, all of a sudden, even though the game's tied, I have a not quite shaky screen, but it was shaky for a minute. Kiki QT, ah, just inaccurate. What are the things that are up? Rattled receivers. Oh, turf brain. Oh boy. So that's why everyone's getting injured then. That's because we literally have a thing that buffs the injury, apparently. Oh, look at that. Look at JT go! That's just something you're not going to get with many other running backs. You know, I like the press on the outside. I'm going to take advantage of it. Never mind. Just check it down. Jack Doyle, stay sit or check there. Stay with the safe. Check down. The safety played just far enough over that I was too scared to throw it. JT with a bunch of extra blockers. Easy running lane. Not quite a touchdown. Oh, this should be an easy run. Hopefully. Oh, come on. There's no way I'd do just stonewall JT. He gets another carry then. I don't care. There's no way JT just got stonewalled two times in a row. There. And just like that, we now have momentum. I would have handed that ball off to Jonathan Taylor every single time right there. Without fail. He was getting that touchdown. They were giving the open lane. It was just up to when it parted enough for Jonathan Taylor to have enough room to run. Because they, they opened it enough for me to be able to see it. They just, you know. There. 
There we go. Good stop. You know, it only took, you know, 14 and a half people, but the tackle was made eventually. Now you stick on him, right? I'm going to use her George Odom. Make sure no funny business happens if something funny happens. Great. That would have been Odom's zone, too. Of course. It's always, it's like there's always something there. To be like, haha, you screwed up. Oh, that's just a good throw. If that ball wasn't placed where it was, then oh boy for them. I'm going to make a mistake here. I'm going to run a man coverage. Oh, horrible throw. He probably had a touchdown to Darren Waller over the top. They really like that formation, though. And I'm going to like this. See, see what they did? I switched mine, so they switched theirs because I had I had a counter. I can see, and so they switched it again because I had a counter to their counter. And they're gonna switch it again because oh no, never mind. They didn't switch it again. I can't even like this. Is ridiculous. Again, it's just proof that the CPU knows what you're doing. And that's what makes this game kind of unfair and kind of unfun. Is it just knows. Okay, I was just... I should have plugged that hole. I should have um, pinched the D-line and shot that gap. Doesn't matter what I call. So I just came out in the three man up or man up three deep. Yeah, if you're going to score a touchdown, how about you do it in a timely manner so at least I can get the ball back? You, know, you want to call this formation? Fine. Oh, Yassine almost got in there. All it takes is an acrobat right there, and that's a pick, but all good. I know for a fact that Darius Leonard didn't just get thrown off by Brian Edwards. A sacked fumble! Ah. Recovered by them, though. Second and goal from the 22. Sacked again! This time, Quiddy Pay. The amount of times that has happened to me playing this game is ridiculous. Have him on his back foot. He just throws a panic throw, right? Like what happened with me earlier in the game, I didn't panic. I just looked at it and I was like, I'm throwing that, you know? I was slinging it. Right there, he's under pressure. He panics, throws it to a receiver who has my man you know, pushed back out of bounds where he can't get to the ball. And then it's just game over from that point on. Oh, big hit. Thanks for not fumbling. I will absolutely, positively run verticals. T.Y. down the field inaccurate. <laughs> Come on, Wentz. That's not the pass you need to be missing. Target line, the 40-yard line. At the very least, it's tied up. T.Y. makes the grab. Oh, big hit. All right, we're going to call a timeout here. We're almost in field goal range. Again, the target line is the 40-yard line. We're literally, you know, five yards away from the target line. Go on, snap the ball, Wentz. I'm going to call the timeout. I debated it. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to take that chance. All right, let's just get up to the target line, hopefully. Or not. Again, we're going to call our timeout. 
I'm just going to go for like a short pass or something. It's got to be out of bounds. You can't be serious. He played that so much better than he should have. <sighs> Press everyone, make sure they're not going to... Don't run the ball. Don't you dare run the ball. Okay. There is no way that just, oh my, I hate Josh Jacobs with a passion. There's no way they just did that. That's all he did, all game. Get put in a situation where he should be tackled, no business being out of that, and then he breaks the tackle and takes it for 20 extra yards. He did that all game. The tackling was horrible. That's just ridiculous. That's not how we should lose a game. It wasn't even like I was trying to force the ball down the field. I was trying to play safe, just get into field goal range, or at least the edge of field goal range. And instead, he looks like he's dropping back into a zone. I throw the ball out of bounds, or try to throw the ball out of bounds, and he jumps it like he's freaking Deion Sanders or Darrell Rivas. It's just ridiculous. All right, well, I don't really know what to get. I mean, I guess. Yeah, we'll guard the outside run. Why not? Player health. You guys don't get a day off, even if you want it, after that pitiful performance. And we're going to run the ball outside. I guess, I guess the offense can... You know, we'll rest some starters. Defense doesn't deserve it. It's a horrible job by the defense in the last game. We'll go with one interception. That's a pretty reasonable goal. We should have won that last game, or at the very least should have been an overtime. So offensively, Julian Davenport breaks his finger. Too bad, so sad. I don't care. You're like a fourth string. Um, defensively, we're fine. Alright, let's see how we're doing with upgrades. Mark Lewinsky, well you're a backup anyways, so well, we'll upgrade your pass protector, why not? And then Okereke, do field general, of course. Plus one speed. That's great. Up to 89 speed. Ryan, you got two upgrades for centers. You gotta love it. We need all the pass protection we can get. And there we go. So. Let's see. Um, I want to go check our stats. See how our players have been performing. Uh, Wentz, I mean, I don't blame, you know, let's see here. There was the one interception that wasn't his fault. The other interception wasn't his fault. It's just unfortunate. JT's got to be in the MVP conversation still, right? Yeah, number six. Can we put him up there at number one this week? I mean, he does have a uh, history for destroying the Jaguars run defense. So, we'll see. Um, Okereke and Leonard pretty matched up, matched up pretty well with tackles, tackles for loss and sacks and interceptions, but uh, clearly Leonard's doing a lot better for fumble wise. Sack wise, our sack leader is DeForest Buckner, tied with Alquadine Muhammad. Interesting. Quiddy Pay starting to catch up. Interceptions, Darius Leonard, Isaiah Rogers. We're just not getting many interceptions, are we? 
Um, I'm interested to see though. Um, hold on. So Josh Jones on 193 downs played. Doesn't seem right. He shouldn't have been playing that many snaps. He's at the very least he's good depth, right? Like he's not no catches allowed. Has a forced fumble. Um, you know. I mean, he's playing okay. Not playing great. Now let's see, can I can I get Kari Willis off of IR though? Oh, there we go. We get Kari Willis off IR. Surprising. Now we could bring Blankenship back off IR, but I'm not sure I necessarily need to. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to. That's just a roster spot that I don't have free at the moment. I actually already have to cut somebody. Um, that somebody will be, um, be Danny Pinter. Sorry, Pinter. I know you caught a touchdown in real life, but that doesn't matter to me on the franchise. Um, so contract-wise, I want to see what we're... Looking at, um, I would easily sign Marlon Mack to a reserve contract in the off season, if that's what he wants to play, or not like a reserve, but like, you know what I mean. Um, Josh Jones wants two years, less than four million dollars. Sure, good depth. Matt Pryor, I don't think... I mean, he's played, what, three games recently? Um, hold on, season stats. He gave up one sack against the Cardinals. And you got, I mean, look at this. I mean, granted, he didn't play all of these, but, like, so. Right, like, one sack and, like, however many games. At the very least, I'm going to bring him back on a cheap deal. Like over two or two years or something. Yeah, I mean, I'll gladly keep some depth at that position. Apart from that, though, I really don't think anyone else needs re-signed. I mean, you could argue, like, maybe P.J. Locke, Molly Cox. But nobody else, really. I mean, I'd love to bring back T.Y. if his deal gets cheaper. But apart from that, really nobody... Um, of interest. Once got almost four thousand yards. Um, I mean Mo is a good red zone target, but he does average more yards per catch than Doyle. I don't know. I'll have to really decide on that. Yeah, Glowinski's just not going to make the team next year. But that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.